Hey everybody. So, uh, just to run it down again, so everyone knows that um, I'm making vlogs leading up all the way to the week of October. I go visit my little, my, my, uh, my best friend, my little sibling, Max, also known as Rosa Cosplay here on YouTube, I'm making vlogs leading up all the way to that week, and, um, and it's gonna be, um, pretty cool. And I can't wait, and I'm super excited for it. And these vlogs are really hyping me up for it. So um, today we are at we are at vlog number seven. Oh, there we go. Yeah, vlog number seven. Five, six, seven. Yeah, vlog number seven. Okay, so for vlog number seven, I'm going to show a format that no one uses anymore because. In today's day of age, it's all digital, it's all streaming, it's all basically anything else. I mean, because streaming, and digital, and all that stuff killed the CD. You know, CDs are still being made. Seriously, like, CDs are still being made, and that, that's great to know. I'm glad to see that. Um, but uh, CDs will always be around. Um, but what I'm about to show you... Is kind of making a comeback and it's pretty cool. Vinyl is making a comeback too. People are loving vinyl again these days, which is pretty cool. But I'm about to show you a format that I like, that hardly anyone uses. I like it though. If they were still making cassettes this day with new albums, that would be pretty cool. But today, I'm showing you my cassette collection. <laughs> yes, I do collect cassettes for people wondering, um, because I like cassettes, <laughs> and I have a cassette player on my radio, so I can, um, so let's get started here, but the first one I have, and it may seem odd, because you may, you may think, you, you wouldn't think I would listen to anything like this, but Kenny G Duotones album. The, song, the famous album that has the famous songbird song on it that everyone knows. I don't know, I like, I, I like Kenny G. I really do. I mean, his music is pretty good. I mean, he's a great saxophone player. And his music is so recognizable and so nostalgic and super cool. And I like it, I really like it. Um, obviously, this was probably released on vinyl and CD and all that stuff too. I have a cassette, and I'm, I like that. Um, yeah, that's how it was when it opened up this cassette tape. The actual track listing is on the um, on the back in small lettering right there. Obviously, uh, you flip the tape up. Obviously, for the people who are watching who hardly use cassette tapes, obviously you. Uh, when the one side's done, you flip the cassette over, and then you play it, on, and then you flip it over, and then you play the next side, and it plays the rest of the songs. It's pretty cool. Um, here's the uh, here's the side right here. That you know the, the the display side, and then the other side has nothing. But yeah, Kenji, do what comes out. Pretty cool. Um. <clears throat> next one I have I don't really listen to Tears for Fears that much they have some good songs they're pretty good this one um this one obviously has uh, a couple famous songs that from them on it which I got that's why I got this album and it's um pretty cool wait I think you'll know this album songs from the big chair by Tears for Fears um one of my, I mean, they make really good music. I mean, they make good music for, like, early into the 80s and all that stuff. And, um, that's what the cassette looks like. And it's, uh, it's pretty cool. I have this. I, uh, <clears throat> I believe I listened to this once. Like, I popped this in my player one time, and I liked it, and I really liked it. Um, obviously, 
track listings in very small lettering on the back. It says part one, and then it shows every single song in part one, and then part two, and then the rest of the album in part two. It's pretty cool. Um, well, I forgot to say on the, hold on, let me go back to the Kenny G album for a second, but, um, my favorite songs off here are Songbird and Sade. I haven't really sat down and listened to the other ones yet, but I'm pretty sure I would like them if I listened to them. But those are my favorite songs off this album. My favorite songs off of this album are, uh, Shout, Everyone Wants to Rule the, Rule the World, obviously, that's a good song. Everyone knows that song. And then, Mother's Talk, it was a good song. I heard, that was a good song. Years I forgot. But they, I think they were pretty good. But there's also a live, um, there's a song they made called Broken. And the, the actual studio recordings on here as well as a live version. So, um, I should listen to this one again. I should listen to this cassette again. I'm pretty sure I really like it a lot more. Um, so yeah. So, okay. These next tapes, literally the rest of them, like the rest of them, these these two, Kenny G and Tears for, Tears for Fears, are the only cassettes I own right now that aren't Christmas related. <laughs> the rest are Christmas related, just forewarned. I know, wait. Or no, wait, before, sorry. Sorry, forget about that. One more. Pokemon, the first movie, the soundtrack, on cassette. This is the original cassette from when I was a child. And it's all warped out and funky now because of how old it is. I probably should replace this thing. I should probably find, go online and try to replace this thing. Because these days it's possible. And this thing is just warped and just it's something else, man. It's crazy. So, uh, obviously, each side has the track listing in the, in the, um, yeah, they have the track listing on both sides on top of each cassette. Um, I lost the case for it because I lost it when I was a kid. I don't know where what happened to it, but I only got the cassette now, but yeah. Anyway, back to what I was saying, the rest of the cassettes I have are literally just Christmas related, and that's it. So, um, we're gonna run through these. We're gonna run through these things because what I tried to do is that I, I love Christmas, man. I love it. I love the music so much that even, even if I find it on cassette, it's pretty amazing. But, um, I only got one compilation album and the rest are like artists alone like they're art they're just a bunch of like they're single artists making christmas albums and um so i'll start with this one this one's just a bunch of different people on one cassette a bunch of different uh christmas songs on it which, you know, nowadays, um, you know, I got so many ways I can listen to Christmas music. I got iHeartRadio, there's Music Choice, 93.9 in my area, plays it, plays it during the time, switches to the station to play this during that time of year. I typically, I, I'm outside the counties, I don't need any of these cassettes. But do you know why I want them? Do you know why I have them? Because I like them. Because I, cause I like this kind of music. So, I got this one, I got a Tony Bennett one, The Carpenters, Bing Crosby, you can't go wrong with Bing Crosby, more Bing Crosby, because you can't go wrong with Bing Crosby, <laughs> um, it's, it's pretty cool. I like, I mean, I hadn't listened to any of these yet, which is surprising. Um, I don't know if they, I don't know if they sell like a, a machine where you can put multiple cassettes in at, at one time. I'm unsure about that. I don't know if they do that. 
If they do, that'd be pretty cool, but I don't think they do. They have for CDs. I know that for sure. Um, and for vinyl, if you're lucky. But, um... But, yeah, the... Literally, the rest are just Christmas cassettes. And you know how that is. And I like them. They're pretty cool. Now, the last few things that are cassette-related cassette, -wide, cassette related are... I got two... Still wrapped in their original wrapping. I don't know what year these are from. Probably from the 90s or the 80s. There's no year on the... There's no year on this stuff, but I had to guess had to have been from like the 90s. Had to be. But, um, these are two, these are two blank 60, 60 minute cassette tapes that are blank, ready to go for whenever I need them. Um, I haven't used them yet because I haven't found the, haven't found a purpose to use them yet. Um, it's pretty cool. Now, for someone who's never recorded, who had never used one of these before, I would need to probably look it up because honestly, these are just like regular cassette tapes. If something goes on this side, you flip it over and something goes on the other side. So, um, probably I would have to look up how to use it if I ever were going to use it. Like, strip it out of the package and use it. But, um, yeah. That's my, uh, that's my whole cassette collection. Of cassettes. I'm probably gonna get more in the future. I don't know when that will be, but it's gonna happen when I find more of what I like. So, this is vlog, that was vlog number seven. I will be back next week for vlog number eight. Just two, just two vlogs away, man. Two vlogs away from ten. So, technically, three vlogs away after this one. Tactically. <laughs> um, this is insane. So, I hope everyone here has a great day and a fantastic day. I hope all of you have a good one.